Bonsoir les adorables, this is Lianne Stenfield and you can find me at learnparisianfrench.com Tonight is the first um, Facebook Live in the group and I'm so thrilled to do it finally. Uh, you guys were getting uh, the videos um, forwarded from the Facebook page and I thought uh, that it wouldn't be fair. Uh, you need to have your life event. And um, I am making this video at this particular hour because I would like to see exactly what is the best time uh, for most uh, members at this point. And of course, things are going to change depending on who's joining. But uh, this group is um, the conversation group that I do want to keep. Uh, it's uh, near and dear to my heart. Uh, you guys are m much more committed and you are committed, committing your time and your, um, yeah, your time and your, your focus on French much more than the people who are on the Facebook page. I love them too. Uh, you, most of you, if not all of you, are also on the page. Uh, but this particular group is uh, meant to have much higher activity. And I love you so much. I'm so happy that you're here. I honor you and I'm very grateful uh, to have you um, and to see you how much you want to improve yourself. Uh, through language uh, and communication and I thank you so much for joining this group again. Um, I, uh, as you may know, I work with uh, profession, successful professionals or business people who are struggling, wrestling with learning French on your own. And um, I help you to instead make conversation confidently in Parisian French. Um, in your business trips, your personal trips, uh, as well as in your business, your work with your clients. Um, and to never having to ever say no again to any opportunity, whether personal or professional, just because you think that you're not bilingual yet. Um, you have been following me for a while, most of you, some of you are my clients, and um, you already know, but I will keep reminding you um, that learning the language and um, speaking the language are two completely different activities, um, a different part of our body and a different part of our brain uh, specialize, uh, are specialized in this um, either learning or uh, performing of the language. Um, and uh, some of you already um, know yourselves and uh, I, I do have five clients at this point and they're becoming you know, more and more uh, clients who are uh, teaching French. Uh, right now, my five clients are teaching French at high school level in uh, the United States and they do need me as a coach for conversations. So know that you may be able to know the language so well that you can actually teach it. Of course, you'll speak it French and you'll speak it, sorry, you'll speak it with your students uh, if you are a, a teacher. But um, it's harder if you don't have a particular te technique, strategies. Uh, spe it's a special approach to performance of, of the language, which is completely different. Um, I do have, uh, if you're not yet my client, uh, just to let you know that I have a special uh, event now. It's called Christmas in July. And um, just like uh, for Christmas, you never know what's in the, in, you know, in the gift, in the box. I, it's secret. Nobody knows. But, uh, nobody knows. Obviously, it's not on the website. Uh, you don't know. A you don't have a link. All I ask of you, if you are ready to um, be confident with French, 
uh, come to learnparisianfrench.com and uh, send me a little bit of your background and let's talk and I'll tell you what the special offer is. Every day is different and it could be different depending on what your needs are. So um, making sure that uh, I make uh, a gift that you'd be happy with. Um, so today's topic, the verb parler, how to use it in conversation. And I have a couple of things to talk about. Uh, as soon as the video, uh, the, the broadcast is done, so please ask me questions in the comments below. Uh, as soon as this video is done, uh, I'm going to put uh, the transcript of, of the French part of this, of this video um, in, in the description of the video so you have it. So, for parler. I'll give you a context first because it's all about conversation how, and how to use it. Um, ma, uh, uh, oui, Marie a une bouche. Voilà la bouche de Marie. Elle parle avec sa bouche. Uh, Marie has a mouth. Here is Marie's mouth. She speaks with her mouth. Voilà, um, non. Marie a une bouche. Voilà la bouche de Marie. Elle parle avec sa bouche. Uh, the conjugation in present, the present tense is Je parle, tu parles, il parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, il parle. Uh, je parle, tu parles, il parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, il parle. Um, knowing all this, this is absolutely not enough. It's never going to be uh, for you to start speaking. Uh, this is just a prerequisite. Uh, just in, uh, I mean, I'm sure that most of you have been in uh, plays, theater plays uh, in school. So just learning the, you know, the script, learning the the play is not enough to actually play it. It's completely different. It's completely a different activity. And do not make yourself happy or talk yourself into. The fact that it is okay to just know we don't actually have to start making conversation. You do need to make conversation. This is what a language is for. It's supposed to be a tool, not a subject for learning. If you are a linguist, sure, that's the subject for learning. Only then. Other than that, you have to use it. It's a tool. So this was my first um, a point, how to use it in conversation. Now... I have a second point for this verb. Um, there is a common mistake that I see uh, where uh, people pronounce instead of parle, pronounce parle, as well as, for instance, table. Instead of table, table. Instead of livre, livre. Be very careful. This is a common um, misconception that people in France, in Paris, they are cutting the ending of the words and that is um, to emulate that makes you sound more French um, as, as in any language English included uh, people do cut the ending of the words only when they speak very fast people don't speak fast if they don't speak fast right so every person every person have uh, has their own uh, speech pattern and know that French really like to enunciate their speech. So enunciating uh, does not make you uh, sound snobbish or anything like that. Um, there are, there's a, a, a large palette in, you know, between someone who speaks really slowly and someone who speaks really fast. Um, you, if you come with me in the immersion, I have immersion retreat one on one for seven days there. Um, you will see, and I'll point it out. Look, these people and how these other people are speaking. Um, so my point here is, unless you speak really fast, you have no reason to cut the ending of the word. The final e makes that l pronounced. You have to pronounce it. Otherwise, if you get yourself used to pronouncing, to cutting the ending of the word when you enunciate, because you speak slowly in this phase, it's slowly, right? So you should enunciate. So if at this speed you already are cutting the ending, imagine what's going to happen when you're going to end up when you're going to start speaking faster, 
that is when you're going to cut even more because it's the natural way of the language to link the words one to the other when we're speaking you know fluently and actually fast because you can be fluent and actually enunciate so uh, those are the points that I had to I had for tonight for you the first video uh, the number uh, I think is 43 tonight is because it is the 43rd video that um, it's a series of videos that I started 43 videos ago on the Facebook page and you don't know the Facebook page if you don't please let me know and I'm gonna put the link underneath here uh, do ask me uh, questions in the uh, comments below and please um, make suggestions of topics that you'd like me to cover and I'll do it right away um, yeah and so again uh, just the reminder uh, Christmas in July is on and uh, the surprise, um, you're going to discover the surprise as soon as you contact me through uh, the, the link learnparisianfrench.com. I'm so thrilled to have been uh, able to make this video in the group uh, and I'm going to continue. Uh, please uh, give me suggestions. Uh, if not, I'm going to continue with my own uh, series, what I what I have in mind and I have a, a series in mind but please interrupt it at any time uh, with whatever it is that you need and whatever the challenges that you are working with are so thank you so much again I'm, I'm so excited to, to be in the group uh, finally and um, I will see you next time merci beaucoup bonsoir